So Ramesh, uh, how do you think the weather server gets its data? So I believe what's happening is the weather server which is running at open weather map dot org is a data logger um, mm -hmm. at, at its at its heart it's a server but it is serving requests for weather information but it's getting information from all these locations i th think of these as the internet of things these are the things these things are weather um, weather sensors from various cities for example uh, there's there's probably several locations in austin where we can get the weather from and then uh, for every city there's getting they're getting all these information this information is being sought doc parsed and stored on a repository in some form so that when my request comes from any either a browser or in our case from an application like kyle it sends that request it it sees the request it queries the database gets a response and then sends us back a response so in some sense it is a logger of information for the various cities. Ah, so there are these uh, sensors all over the world collecting data. Why don't we make a lab and make our students do a very, very similar thing? So uh, I think, uh, so our idea is that you will do one of these that actually sends information to a server and the server will log it and then you can see that using a browser. Oh. So we'll do the other end. We've shown you how to do this end, and you will do this end. Oh. So everyone in the world will be able to send messages to a central embedded system shape the world server, and you will be able to see each other's messages. Okay. So the goal is to make a data logger. Okay. Uh, let's show them how it works. All right. We're in Kyle with a solution to Lab 16, and let's show you how it works. Just like the weather server, uh, we had to change the three parameters, uh, which were the SSID name, uh, the encryption type, and the password. But now we have two changes. We're going to connect to the embedded system MOOC uh, server, and that's the name of the server, and we're going to send it a message. And embedded in this message are a couple of things. Uh, your location, uh, in our case, we're in Austin, Texas. Uh, your name, uh, I'm John. And now we're going to, the part that is the data logger is the greeting. So let's think of something uh, fun to say while we take here. Okay, so what should we say to the world? Okay, so we're going to ask, did you, again, you got to have the, ASCII 20 for space. Did you enjoy this? Yep, skipped one class. All right. We'll talk about getting the grade later, but for now, well, let's demonstrate the data logging uh, facility. All right, so we've created a new message to send to the logger. So let's send it. All right, we're going to compile. We're going to download. Okay. And now what I want to do is show you something fun. So we're going to open up the logger here. Copy. Let's go. So we've downloaded it and it already ran. No, it hasn't run yet. Watch okay. what happens, Ramesh. Okay. Okay, let's. Okay. All right, so it hasn't run yet. So let's go over to the server. Paste in the server name. Uh, and these are the different messages uh, that have been sent previously. All right, so now I'll push the reset button on the device and see what happens. All right. We're waiting for the green light to come on. Green light is on, so I'll refresh the screen. And there it is. John Valvano in Austin, Texas wants to know, did you enjoy this class? All right. Um, so in the next video, we'll show you how 
uh, you're supposed to earn your grade, uh, what other information you have to send and what information the server returns that will uh, allow you to uh, get your grade for this lab. All right. Enjoy.